Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans of what we do around here. What we do around here is bring about conversations of a psychological, mental health, emotional health paradigm. We do that as often as we can, usually several times per week. We continue to do that as often as we can for your listening pleasure and hopefully to bring you some level of clarity. Um, there's 1,300 of these available, so certainly something for you to check out if you so felt. Uh, then the, so this is an inner child, uh, things your inner child may need from you that you may not understand. So inner child, we all have a childlike self inside to ourselves and sometimes we don't indulge that enough. Look, a lot of us are just, um, you know, kids in adult bodies. I mean, that's what we are. Sometimes we don't have the best childhoods. Other times we just never chose to look at life the way that a lot of people do. And so that leads to some challenges. If you have inner child work you need done, I do that in my coaching sessions. Would love to be of assistance to you in that way if that's something that you think would be helpful. Um, there's a couple things to look at in that way. Um, and so expressions of emotions is something to consider. Um, if you are a person who is um, has been taught that emotional suppression is the right way to go, Number one, that's not often very helpful. And number two, emotional suppression leads to a whole myriad of emotional challenges, problems, hardships, difficulties, and just plain old yuckiness. Nothing that's really good that come, can come or does come from emotional suppression. So the ability to begin to understand the value of knowing how to connect on a deeper level with ourselves emotionally and to be able to articulate and then express our emotions to others around us and for our own benefit, just finding an outlet for the emotions we haven't found a way to connect with others yet. Ken is uh, one of the things that we can often benefit from doing and can be helpful if we're willing to look at doing it. The next thing there is kind of uh, our inner child may need may need for us to feel safe. Now, safe and, and uh, safety and security, one of the basic human needs that we all have, different versions of safe. Sometimes safe means not being alone. Sometimes safe means having a, an ability to, um, to connect us in a deeper way with the future. Sometimes safe means having a backup plan for uncomfortable, uh, difficulties and or, you know, things that are just um, not in our best interest. And so when we begin to understand the value of connecting and providing safety, look, there are no guarantees in life. We all know that. But when we can create an atmosphere of perception of safety, we then can get to making wiser decisions and also not reacting so emotionally in a fight or flight manner and then thereby making life easier for ourselves for those that love us and for those that we love so they're not worried about us nearly as much the next thing there is um like no fault so the no fault mentality basically says the following it says that Things happen because of the perceptions that other people have and the emotions they have around certain situations, not necessarily because a person is a, you know, a person who is always a uh, in the right place or always right or always in a in a positive mindset. That being said, also finding a way to identify how we can. Um, magnify and focus upon the good in our lives and the things in our lives that matter most to us and to be able to also focus on growth is essential to the overall development of healthy habits, healthy belief systems, and thereby a healthier quality of life. When we begin to understand the value of knowing how to do that, when to do that, where to do that, we then also begin to make life easier for everyone in a situation in a meaningful way and therefore making decisions that are less toxic and less unhealthy for us becomes easier as well. The next thing there is to look at um, making sure that, that you feel heard and that other people feel heard. Again, the use of language is so important here. 
being heard doesn't mean agreement. And a lot of people get confused between those two things. Just because someone agree doesn't agree with you doesn't mean they don't hear you. But being heard is, is the freedom and, and ability to express your opinion in a safe environment without being threatened, bullied, or uh, negatively impacted. Telling yourself that you are worthy of love and that you are a lovely person and can be loved is also important as well. When we begin to understand the, um, you know, the, the, the reflection of our own love, again, the relationships that come into our life often are signs of the love we do or do not give ourselves. And so there's challenges as it relates to that as well. Finding the balance of what love looks like can be challenging for a number of reasons. So hopefully this is helpful. I encourage you to keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Till next time, everybody.